In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the factorial of a number using recursion in Python. So the factorial of a non-negative integer is given by the product of all the positive integers less than or equal to that integer. So for example, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is going to be 120 where 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 are all the positive integers less than or equal to 5. Now there is a special factorial 0. So 0 factorial is defined as 1. We'll create a function called factorial to solve this problem, and the function will accept the number as an argument, so we'll have the parameter n for that number. Now to solve this problem using recursion, we're going to have the factorial function call itself. We call that a recursive function. Now the way a recursive function typically works is by solving part of the problem to be solved and then calling itself to solve some smaller remaining portion of the same problem to be solved. So if we look at five factorial, five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. The other way we can look at five factorial is that five factorial is equal to five times 4 factorial because 4 factorial is going to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is exactly the sequence of multiplication operations here. So when we have n factorial we can calculate this with n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. So in a recursive function what we'll have is return n multiplied by calling factorial with n minus 1 to compute the factorial of n minus 1. Now eventually we do need recursion to stop. We could stop recursion when n is equal to 1 and we would calculate the correct factorial for 5 factorial and the factorial of any other positive integer. But what we'll do is stop recursion when n reaches 0. So that way we can account for the special 0 factorial value being 1. Because here, if we do have one more multiply by one operation, the answer will still be correct. So what we'll have is an if statement. We'll have if n is equal to zero, then we're going to return one. Then down here, we could test out our function. So we'll call factorial and we'll pass it five and we'll put the return value using print. And if we save the program and try it out, we'll get here 120, which is correct. Now we call this step here where the function calls itself the recursive step or the recursive case. We call this step here where the function stops calling itself the base case or the base step. So this is how we can calculate the factorial of a number using recursion in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.